Marketing News. I'm Amy Tran. And I'm Kai Poizel. Coming up, we have exclusive interviews with Robinson Seniors, the plans for our FBLA chapter, and how to prevent cyberbullying on school campus. But first, here's Henry with the weekly weather report. Thank you, ladies. Things are cooling down in Tampa as we move into January. This weekend, we're in the mid-70s with lows around 60. Starting on Monday, it cools down with lows of 57 and highs of 68. Tuesday through Friday, there's a 60% chance of rain, so you can expect 2 to 3 inches, specifically scattered thunderstorms and morning showers. And by the weekend, it finally clears out and the sunshine returns. Now back to you, ladies. Things are getting exciting for the class of 2019. Earlier this week, Amy spoke with Clarice Chatfield on what it's like being a Robinson senior. Let's check it out. Thank you, Kaya. Today I'm here with Robinson senior Clarice Chatfield. Tell me, Clarice, what are some upcoming events for seniors to look forward to? So seniors are really excited about we have a school dance coming up next month. And then we also are going to have grad bash, prom, um, relay for life. And then finally, our graduation ceremony, which is like a huge bond for all the seniors. And what are some privileges that the seniors have? So seniors are allowed to get out five minutes early. We get released early to lunch. And we have priority in picking like our parking spots, our lockers, and stuff like that, which is kind of like a tradition that Robinson keeps going throughout the years. Thank you, Clarice. Up next, our own Henry Bowie is on the scene with Dong Woo Kim for another look into senior news. Henry? Thank you, ladies. Today I'm here with Robinson High senior Dong Woo Kim. So tell me, Dong Woo, what's yes. the most stressful part of being a high school senior? Uh, the most stressful part of being a high school senior is having to do a lot of IAs, which are internal assessments, and then you have to be able to, as part of your IB graduation requirement, so tell me about college. Have you started your college application process yet? Yes, I've submitted all my early action and stuff. And so for example, I submitted to UNC Chapel Hill and like in Chicago. But still, there's a lot of like regular decision stuff to do, and you have to do a bunch of like scholarship essays, which require a lot of time. So it's it's I'm just hanging in there. The college application process is just very tedious. Finally, Dong, is there any advice you have for upcoming seniors? Oh, for upcoming seniors, I would suggest that maybe you should work on your college applications over winter, not winter, summer break, because once senior year starts, you're not going to have a lot of time to actually commit to your, your college applications. And another thing is you have to really um, never procrastinate because that's that brings serious consequences in terms of like heading in your IA, which is an internal assessment or handing in your EDE or TOK essays. Thank you. Now back to you, ladies. Thank you, Henry. Now for a segment on the growing epidemic of teen cyberbullying. Ever since the rising popularity of technology amongst today's youth, cyberbullying has been a serious issue on school campus. Cyberbullying is a common issue, but is often unreported by victims. Only two in 10 victims will inform their parents or teachers of online attacks. If you or someone you know is being cyberbullied, here are the signs to look for and the steps to take. The signs to look for include lack of interest in daily activities, withdrawn from friends and family, hiding their device when others are around, and emotional responses such as nervousness, frustration, or sadness exhibited after using their device. If a student exhibits these signs, here are the following steps to take. First, the best thing you can do is reach out. Ask them what is happening and who is involved. Second, encourage students to speak to a trusted adult and document any harmful posts. And lastly, positively intervene in any negative or harmful situations targeted towards them. Robinson High School has been taking action in several ways against bullying, with the creation of clubs such as Bowlers Against Bullying. This club spreads awareness about bullying on campus and raises funds for crisis services for victims through community events that bring people together. Other clubs that encourage positive relationships and acceptance among students include Best Buddies and Gay Straight Alliance. These clubs prevent all forms of bullying by facilitating healthy interactions amongst all students. Remember to reach out to your peers who are bullying or the target of the bullying to express your concern. If possible, try to determine if more professional support is needed for those involved, 
such as speaking with a guidance counselor or mental health professional. 70% of people say they witness cyberbullying. So be the change, speak up, and end cyberbullying. And now here's Henry with the latest news on our FBLA chapter. Thank you, ladies. Today I'm here with Makai Kiso of Robinson High's FBLA chapter. So, Makai, what are your duties as an FBLA officer? Um, I am the director of activities, so I'm in charge of organizing and planning all of our events, um, such as our car washes, our club meetups, and helping prepare for competition. What is our chapter doing to increase member involvement? Uh, this year we wanted to have more member involvement by having more club meetup days outside of school. So like we'll go get pizza together or go to a park and hang out. So, you know, increase that team vibe. What are some recent or upcoming events we should look out for? Um, our next FBLA car wash, which is going to be after uh, winter break. We're going to use that to help pay for people's fees to competition. What is our chapter doing for, to prepare for this year's SOC? Um, each officer is assigned littles, which are their like mentees, and they prep them by getting study guides and practice tests so that way they'll be ready for their competition. We've already done our online tests, so now we're getting ready for um, district presentations and submissions. Thank you, Makai. Thank you. A special thanks to Clarice Chatfield, Makai Suso and Dong Woo Kim and also a special thanks to StopBullying.gov and thanks for tuning in to Nights Nightly, Nightly News! News.